According to recent reports, the prototype of Turkey's next-generation fighter aircraft, the TFX, has completed a series of taxi tests in preparation for its official deployment in the coming weeks. In addition, in January 2023, Temel Kotil, the chief executive officer of Turkish Aerospace Industries, which is the aircraft's builder, said that the jet may make its first flight this year. Thus, keep watching this video to learn more about this extraordinary Turkish stealth fighter TFX. The Defense Industrial Agency of Turkey has published a series of photographs of the TFX prototype sitting on a runway at an unidentified location. The photographs show the TFX prototype to be either finished or very close to being finished. The images were taken in the facilities of Turkish Aerospace Industries, which is known to have been the location of the construction of the aircraft. This corporation, which is also known by its Turkish abbreviation TUSAS, has been in charge of the development of this aircraft as part of a program that is technically known as Mili Muharip Ukak Project, which translates to National Battle Aircraft Project. The Turkish Under Secretariat for Defense Industries officially issued a request for information to Turkish companies on March 13, 2015, signaling the official start of the program. The request was issued to Turkish companies that could perform genuine design, development, and production activities of the first Turkish fighter aircraft to meet the Turkish Armed Forces' next-generation fighter requirements. And on August 5, 2016, a contract for the design and development of the fighter was signed between the SSM of the Turkish Ministry of National Defense and Turkish Aerospace Industries Incorporated. The SSM provided Turkish Aerospace Industries with a grant of $1.18 billion for the company to obtain the essential technology and infrastructure for the design, testing, and certification of aircraft. At the same period, a request for proposals was issued for the engine that would be installed in the aircraft, and the firms General Electric, Eurojet, and Smekma all returned to this file. Under the parameters of the RFP, it was required that Turkey's engine infrastructure be improved, and it was stressed that there should be as much emphasis as possible placed on local manufacturing. The Defense Industry Executive Committee of Turkey decided on December 15, 2010, to design, develop, and manufacture a national next-generation air superiority fighter. This fighter would be used to replace Turkey's F-16 fleet and would be compatible with other essential assets such as the F-35 Lightning II. In addition, in 2011, an agreement for the conceptual development of basic capabilities was signed between TAI and Turkey's Under Secretariat for Defense Industries, which is now known as the Presidency of Defense Industries and serves as the procurement agency for the Turkish Armed Forces. Therefore, TAI and TUSA Engine Industries would be in charge of the fighter jet's design, entry, and development procedures. The results of the studies would show how much the fighter would cost, as well as investigate which mechanical and electronic systems would be used and included. Additionally, the studies would provide a more comprehensive view of the opportunities and challenges that exist in the field of military aviation. The Turkish Aerospace Industries were tasked with carrying out a conceptual design phase that would last for two years and need funding equal to $20 million. According to statements by TAI officials, the conceptual design phase ought to be finished by the end of 2013, and a report is now being produced to be presented to the Prime Minister for the approval of the development phase budget and framework. BAE Systems, which is based in the United Kingdom, was selected by Turkey's Under Secretariat for Defense Industry in December 2015 to help with the design of the country's next-generation air superiority fighter. On the same day, Rolls-Royce proposed to jointly create a variant of the TFX program as well as to transfer their technology for the EJ-200 engine. Thus, an agreement for BAE Systems to provide engineering assistance in the development of the aircraft was signed by officials from TAI and BAE Systems in January 2017 during the visit of the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May, to Turkey. As a result of the deal, the United Kingdom has given military industries in the country permission to export items, software, or technology to Turkey under the terms of an open general export license. TAI's chief engineer working on the TFX program, Hussein Yak, has stated that all three conceptual designs so far feature a design that has been optimized for low radar cross-sectional density, internal weapons bays, and the ability to supercruise, and these are characteristics that are associated with fifth-generation fighter jets. TAI's Advanced Carbon Composites Fuselage Facility, which was commissioned to produce fuselages for Lockheed Martin's Joint Strike Fighter F-35 program, 
has been tasked with developing an advanced carbon composite fuselage for the TFX. Also, a request for proposals has been published by the Turkish Undersecretariat for Military Industry SSM, for the creation of a new lighter carbon composite thermoplastic that will be used for the TFX fuselage. As part of the TFX initiative, ASELSAN is now working on the development of an advanced active electronically scanned array radar that will make use of gallium nitride GAN technology. Encrypted data link connections will be used to integrate the TFX from the cockpit to any accompanying unmanned aerial vehicles, which will most likely be the TAI Anka. Likely, Asselson's radar warning receiver, missile warning system, laser warning system, chaff and flare management, dispensing system, and digital radio frequency memory will be utilized by the aircraft. The prototypes will be powered by General Electric F-110 engines until the TAEC engine, which is a product of a partnership between the Turkish Kale and the British Rolls-Royce, is finished and ready for use. Ismail Demir also said that in addition to these two engines, there's another engine discovered from a country that has not been revealed. TAI has revealed that they will be working on a double-seat variation of the TFX soon. The objective is to use the manned-on-man -man teaming capabilities in the most effective manner possible. Thus, the pilot in the rear will be able to coordinate and handle drones such as the Bayraktar Kizilelma and the Bayraktar TB2 thanks to the extra seat. The production of the very first piece of MMU began on November 4, 2021. Kamel Kotil, CEO of TAI, remarked, The manufacturer of the first component of our national combat aircraft has been completed. Every advance we make toward the goal of our nation's continued existence is a significant investment on our part. I would want to express my gratitude to all of my close friends, as we have traveled the same road together by cooperating with excitement and hard work. It is anticipated that the remaining 20,000 components of TFX will be completed by the end of 2022. Dr. Erg Zengen, Deputy General Manager of TAI and in charge of TFX, announced on February 11, 2022, that production had begun on 550 TFX components. Originally, the first flight was supposed to take place in 2025. However, it has been moved forward to mid-2023. A representative from the Russian military corporation Rostec announced their plan to participate in the TFX program while attending the 2018 Eurasia Air Show. Unexpectedly, several Russian enterprises, including United Engine Company, have said that they are prepared to provide the TFX engine with the necessary technological components. But officials from the Turkish military sector have stated that they are investigating this possibility and considering several possible types of collaboration. On February 22, 2022, Temel Kotil, president and CEO of TAI, gave an interview in which he revealed that Turkey was working together with the Pakistan military to operate the National University of Science and Technology on the project and that they were outsourcing the design of the components to students and researchers at the university. Yet, TAI clarified afterward that there was an error in their previous statement and that there is no Pakistani cooperation involved in the project. And that's it. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think of the new Turkish stealth fighter TFX and its capabilities. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the following video.